This is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. I wanted to show you something really, really cool. Right now, the honeybees behind me are swarming, okay? What that means is these bees have a new queen, and the old queen is leaving the hive with half of the bees, and we are gonna catch them. So stay tuned. I'm gonna give you some shots of what's going on here, and hopefully this queen will land in a low-lying limb in our orchard and we'll be able to catch it and we'll show you how to catch a honeybee swarm this is actually happening right now pretty awesome stony bridge farm stony bridge stony bridge farm So you may be thinking, man, that's a lot of bees. This seems really hairy. It seems really scary to be around. Well, actually the bees are supposed to be in the most docile time of their lives right now. So they're out looking right now, following that queen, wherever she goes and wherever she lights on a branch is where all those bees will accumulate. Now we have a hive already prepared to catch a swarm this year. So we're gonna catch them. It's gonna be awesome. We were actually getting ready to work the bees and this happened. Pretty cool. It looks like they're all congregating around this pear tree down here. I don't know if you guys can hear this or not, but it's just a low roar. I'm gonna try to crank the volume up really loud here on the camera, okay? And it looks like they're going for that pear tree right there. Right there they are. So we're gonna go and we're gonna get our honeybee box now. I'll just let you watch this for a few minutes. It's pretty amazing to watch. In 4K too. Woo! Now guys, I honestly don't know exactly what's going on here. It looks like to me we have two swarms. They're kind of not really all together. And we need them to be all together. This is a huge, huge bee swarm. I mean, I'm going to say that's probably eight pounds of bees. And I'm a little bit curious as to whether that is two swarms or one swarm. So we're going to give them just a few more minutes to settle on where they want to settle. And we may end up having to get two boxes and do two uh, swarm boxes. Uh, it's insane. I, I've never seen two swarms together like that. And it's pretty awesome. All right, guys. This gives us a unique opportunity. So here is the box I prepared to capture the bees with. And the bee swarm is right down here. So watch what I'm going to do here. This is very interesting. And I hope that it works. We're just going to set this box down right here by the swarm. And we're going to raise up the swarm like so. And we're going to slide the box underneath and set the swarm down right on top of it and see if they perhaps will just migrate right down into the box. All of a sudden you'll see a great migration. All the bees will decide this is the place to be and they'll start making a different sound and they'll go down in the box. And I'm watching them right now and they're making that sound. It's a happy bee sound. And they're like, heck yeah, we found our house and we're going back in. Awesome. Let's give them a few minutes. Folks, if you like this kind of stuff, be sure you click that like button, pound that like button, subscribe to the channel and click the little bell down there. It'll notify you when I post a new video and you can come and hang out with me at Mrs. Stony Ridge. All right. Guys, this is a huge swarm right here. You really don't see this much in nature and you really don't see this much on YouTube at all either. Pretty amazing to capture this many bees that's awesome somewhere in the middle there in the middle of this big pile of bees is a queen bee really cool so I'm having a hard time making up my mind whether this is two swarms or one swarm that accidentally went over here these bees seem a little more frantic than the other bees but is this two swarms or is it one swarm I really don't know let's get this mic really close so you can hear them So they're not really going in like I wanted them to. 
I think I'm going to shake it off into the box. I think that's what I'm going to do here. With the aid of Mrs. Stony Ridge. Wet. It's hot. Sweaty. Wet. Stressful. Okay. Well, let's get down here at these bees and see what's going on. So here's the swarm. Here's the hive. And I think we're going to shake them off into the hive. So here it goes. I hope Mrs. Stony Ridge has the nerve for this. <laughs> here they go. Oh, man. Huge amount of weight they put on that limb. We're going to let these guys settle in on this and hopefully they decide to go in the box. I'm not real sure if it's two swarms or one swarm, but check it out. I'm going to show you this bee migration. So they're migrating right up into the hive. They seem pretty happy. So they seem pretty happy in this box right here. As long as that queen goes in and says, hey, this is home, then we're in good shape. But if she doesn't, then we might be chasing the swarm again. We're going to actually get down low, kind of motivate these bees up a little bit. Mrs. Stony Ridge was just saying she hadn't been around this many bees in a while. I haven't either. Easy to lose your nerve, I guess. Try to ease this down without crushing any bees. Okay, got our lid on, top on. That's it, so we've got about 90% of these bees in here. I'm gonna pick them up and take them over here and set them on their new home. Okay, alrighty. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this wad of grass and put it right at the entrance here, okay? Looks like these guys are going ahead on in. Now the wad of grass is so that they know they're in a new place. Now this may not be necessary, but then again, it may be necessary. We also have bees on the side of the hive right here. So we wanna try and get those bees up and off the side of the hive if possible. So let's see what we got. Try and motivate them to go to the entrance. Now all those bees are going for that queen's pheromone. The queen that flew out there following her pheromone. It looks like they're taken to the box well, so that's awesome. Uh, let's go down here and visit the second swarm. This is not a second swarm. This is the same swarm and they're a little testy. So I'm gonna clip the branch off and take them over there to the box and put them right next to the entrance. I hope. All right, I've got this big old Wad of bees, follow me, Mrs. Stony Ridge. And we'll put these guys right here to the entrance and see what happens. They're already kind of making a beeline to the hive here. So it's a good thing. We may try and shake some off right here. And move. So our second swarm area was actually part of the first swarm and they're going in the box. This is stressful and I'm out of breath and that's cool, it's normal. It gets the heart thumping. So guys, you can see the amount of bees here is pretty extreme. I'm actually gonna pop the lid off here. Hold this lid please, Vanna. Okay, right there. And I'm gonna slide this top cover off. And I'm gonna put this second super on here. Guys, let me get you a good close-up of what's going on. These bees are working their way slowly into that hole right there. And you can see just kind of lining up like in a Congo line and going right in that hole. And that's the smallest hole in the entrance reducer right there, okay? Pretty amazing. I start seeing them all come out and we might get a little bit excited, but they're just kind of making their way in there. Pretty cool. All of them are just kind of inching their way in. Now, the hive that they came out of is right over there. And it's got a big wad of bees on it too. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon. So this is the time when the bees start coming in from their nectar rounds, when they're out gathering nectar. Pretty amazing. Mother nature. This bee here, you can see him, he's fanning. Looks like he's fanning. 
sending a signal to the rest of the bees that this is home. We're here. Pretty amazing to see this. Hope you guys are really enjoying this. I am. So we'll give these guys probably two hours or so to settle down. I think they'll be fine. We're going for a visit to grandma's house, but man, what an experience. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I want to thank you so much for being here. Please come on back and see us on the Stony Ridge Farm. Don't forget, click that like button, subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of stuff. This is all the stuff that's going on. This is 200 acres of real farm and we're out here having fun. So guys, come on back and see me here on the Stony Ridge Farm and see Mrs. Stony Ridge. All right, we'll see you next time. Woo! Yeah, come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be Stony Ridge. Woo! Guys, if you don't have a honey beehive in your backyard, you're really missing out on some pretty awesome stuff. I used to just come out and sit here with a cup of coffee and watch the bees. Pretty good morning ritual on your day off. <laughs>